They're scientists with sidearms. Biologists with a badge. You might know them as game wardens, but at Arizona Game and Fish, they're wildlife managers. That is a baby, believe it or not. <laughs> it's their job to conserve and protect Arizona's wildlife, more than 800 species, and to enforce laws that help keep you safe in the great outdoors. It's a profession unlike any other, one that requires a tremendous amount of training and a special set of skills. Congratulations to you guys. We are absolutely glad to have you here. This is a new um, class of recruits. It's their first day on the job, and we're about to follow their long and challenging journey to see just what goes into the making of a wildlife manager. I'm a little emotional. I'm sorry. You know, I'm kind of at the end of my career. Seeing you guys start in yours. Seeing these WM recruits at the start of their careers brings a wave of nostalgia to Jim Hinkle. After a 29-year career, his retirement is just weeks away. I started out thinking I was going to be a wildlife biologist. And it was when I learned about the wildlife manager position that you not only got to be a professional wildlife biologist, but you also got to be a fully commissioned Arizona peace officer where you could enforce laws, protect wildlife, help people in the out of doors. Well, it just put the package all together. Even though you get spread out. It, it was far more than what I expected. Much more difficult, much more challenging, uh, but far more rewarding. Okay, so that one Okay, so this is the large. Would you get two? Yeah, I've got two. Medium. These are your dress shirts. You're going to be putting them underneath your body armor as well. So they'll they'll need to fit a little bit. They'll need to fit. <laughs> they'll need to fit a little bit. A little bit loose. Okay. <laughs> Week one at Arizona Game and Fish headquarters in Phoenix is all about getting ready for what lies ahead. Yeah, they'll run you a bit and have you PT before that happens. The first critical step is making it through 18 weeks of police academy training, which starts in just a couple of days. Yeah, definitely nervous. Um, you know, it's been quite a process getting here, and I'm really thankful to have made it to this point. But really nervous about, you know, the, the unknown and the known <laughs> ahead. I'm nervous, to be honest with you. You know, I, I think it's a good thing to be nervous. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Uh, I'm starting to have strange dreams about it at night. Nervous, but excited. Those are the predominant things. Very excited. This is the first step in the career that I've wanted for a long time. I, wanted, I started wanting to do this when I was 17 years old, and it's finally here, so I'm excited. <sighs> uh, a little stressed. I know it's going to be tough. A lot, these four months will, will be uh, probably pretty slow passing by. Maybe at the end I'll think differently, but I, right now it's, it's a long haul coming up. The, the anxiety and anticipation of not knowing what you were facing and knowing that you were going into a paramilitary environment where they were going to break you down to build you up and turn you into a professional law enforcement, it was uh, exciting and fearsome all at the same time. There's mixed emotions. I'm extremely excited but I'm, I'm very nervous. I feel like physically I'm ready but there's always that that little part that you know at 45 years old is my body gonna hold up and be able to endure to the end on this. Uh, my expectations are it's gonna be brutal it's gonna hurt <laughs> physically and mentally. Lots of excitement lots of nervousness but I'm, I can't wait. I'm ready to start we're all ready to go. Uh, enough talk let's let's go to work that's how I feel. I'm, I'm ready to dig in. Before we get started um, for class 39, there's a couple of things I want to go over. It's Monday, August 3rd, day one at NARDA, the Northern Arizona Regional Training Academy located on the Prescott Valley campus of Yavapai College. It all hinges on having a servant's heart. After his welcoming statements, Academy Commander Captain Jeff Noonan of the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office reminds the trainees that everything they do here is done for a purpose. Then he introduces their drill sergeants. Get on your feet! What is wrong with you? Why are you looking around, freak? Why are you looking at? Get on your feet! Quit looking around! I'm not here to be your friend, your buddy, or anything. I'm here to train you. You see somebody walking down the hallway, instructor? 
Nothing prepares you for that moment when the doors fly open and people are screaming at you and you're like, oh gosh, please don't look at me, please don't look at me, please don't look at me. Uh, obviously the beginning is, is not so much fun. The first and last word will be sir or ma'am. Do you understand that? Sir, sir yes sir! Louder! Sir, yes sir! Louder! Sir, yes sir! You know, you can, you can hear stories, you can be told about it, but there is no substitute for experiencing it. And to realize that literally your professional career, your income for your life, hangs on the balance of surviving and passing and doing well. And so to wash out means I've got to find another career field. Make no mistake about it, people. This is an intense training program. You got to earn it, people. And that starts right now. Is that clear? Sir, yes, sir. And you will be held to a higher standard. Sergeant Kite, will you please get these people out of my classroom? Yeah, yeah, A lot of things being said, but you know, one which is keep keep sticking with me is embrace the suck, <laughs> and I think that's going to be really applicable to the next four months of life. Those first few weeks, we test them because the simple fact is, some people were meant to be cops, and some people were meant to call cops. And if they can't handle that amount of stress in a controlled environment, then they're going to crumble in the real world. And 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 that's not a bad thing to find that out. That's the place to find that out is is in that controlled environment. So it's tough. I think I'm going to get my butt kicked pretty good, but I think that you know I have to look at it like this time. Um, is the time in my career where I'm going to be learning so much valuable information. It's going to make me a better person. It's going to make me a better police officer. The reputation of a thousand years may be determined by the conduct of one hour. I expect it's going to be hard. And I expect that we're all going to be tried, no matter what, no matter how fit we are, no matter how well we are at academics, I know we're going to be tried. Yeah, go, go! I expect to be tried because the more you're tried, the better you will be. As long as we all work hard and get everything done, then we'll be fine. It's going to take this group, we're really going to bond through this experience. And, and I think one of the main things that's going to get us through is sticking together and, and becoming a team. For 18 weeks, the trainees are tested in the classroom, on the track, and in the gym. Sometimes learning what it takes to be a police officer requires doing things the hard way. Get back, get back. You're gonna get sprayed in the face. Like taking a blast of pepper spray to the face and somehow managing to fight through the pain in order to stop the assailant. What does he got? Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Back up, back up, back up! Good job. Keep an eye on it. 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 That helps. That takes an eye on it. Through it all, these recruits have become physically and mentally strong. They've united as a team and discovered what it means to enforce the law courageously, ethically, and compassionately. After 18 long weeks, the Narda Academy comes to an end. It seems like yesterday we were still in our black and whites, honestly. Uh, I can't believe it's already here. There's one final inspection and a graduation ceremony that takes place Saturday, December 3rd at Yavapai College in Prescott. It has truly been my honor to be your class sergeant, to watch you grow, to watch you succeed. I'm proud of each and every one of you. I'm proud of you for your hard work, your dedication, and the level of resolve that you've shown in making it here today. 
there is absolutely no doubt that you've earned it. This job is all about having a servant's heart, a warrior spirit and a servant's heart. And service to the people of our community and service to our brothers is really why we're all here and that's what it's all about. Graduates will now file outside to the front of the building for the badge pinning ceremony. They will line up in their squads for family members and others to pin badges on the new officers. I kept up with those younger guys. Lots of Advil, <laughs> lots of ibuprofen. They're simply crossing the threshold into their career. So our job is to give them the basic knowledge, officer safety, presence, to know the inner workings of criminal justice system, that kind of stuff and how to apply it, and then they go learn their job from their agencies. I know. Sergeant Kassoon and that academy turned me into something that I didn't even know that I could be. And those 18 weeks are, I was telling my family after graduation, I spent five and a half years in college, and I'm more proud of those 18 weeks that I spent at the police academy. It just, it changes you. And it's really an amazing process. They're not done yet. For a look at the next six months of training, join us for part two of the making of a wildlife manager.